The Select tool, one of the most recognizable tools in Alteryx. This tool lets us include and exclude fields, change our fields data types and names, and even reorder the column of data that pass through our workflow. Let's look at this functionality. Per usual, we'll start by drag and dropping the Select tool onto our canvas. If I drop it right on top of the wire between two tools, the surrounding tools output and input anchors will connect to the Select tool. This works for other tools also. Configuring the Select tool can happen directly by interacting with the fields or by using the Options menu dropdown. You'll want to know how to use both of these methods. To include a column of data, we'll want the checkbox to the left of the field name to be selected. Deselecting this checkbox will exclude the column. We can do this all at once by using the Options menu. For a lot of us, we'll be using the Exclude functionality the most. This limits the fields, therefore the data, that passes through a workflow. Doing this early can drastically improve performance of your workflow. To reorder the columns of the data, we can first click to highlight a row or multiple rows. Next, click to go up and down. Right-clicking and dragging the fields can also move them to new locations. Like our previous configuration, we can also use the Options menu to do this in bulk. At the bottom of our field list, you'll notice a column called Unknown Column. This is selected by default and lets new columns in our data to pass through the Select tool. Deselecting this column will prevent new columns in the data to pass through. You'll find this very valuable in future workflow development. We can also use the Select tool to modify the type and size of our data by field or again in bulk using options. Next up, we can see that we're able to rename a column. We can do this manually by entering the name in the Rename columns or again in a batch-like approach using the Options menu. So that's how you get started with Select the tool that you'll become quite familiar with within your first few minutes of using Alteryx. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about this tool's capabilities in the Alteryx tool documentation, which can be found in the description section of this video. Keep up with the latest Data Coach videos by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have an Alteryx tool or macro you want to see included in the two minute tool collection, give us a shout on Twitter at AskTessalation or tweet at me at Nick612Hayland. Until next time, your Data Coach and Alteryx ace, Nick Hayland.